Today we're going to talk about triangle similarity. I'm good at these. A-A-S-S-S and S-A-S. So similarity, so we're not talking about congruence, we're talking about similarity. But we did know, or we do know what some of these probably acronyms or letters mean here. What does A-A probably represent? Angle, angle. What's SSS represent? Side, side, side. side, side. And SAS? Side, side, angle, side. Now, um, as you look at these, again, we're talking similarity, not congruent. Okay? Um, yesterday, we talked about a couple things. How do you know what two shapes are similar? They have to have what? Same angles, and the sides have to be not congruent. Proportional, thank oh, you. Okay, so yeah, the angles have to be the same, sides have to be proportional. So when we're talking about here, angles would be the same, sides would be proportional. All right, here are the triangle similarity statements. Um, angle, angle states that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So if you notice here, D is the same as A, F is the same as C. The two triangles are similar. Same with side, side, side. If the three sides of one triangle are proportional to three sides of corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Okay, so if the sides are proportional, the triangles are similar. And then the last one, side, angle, side. If two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle and their included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. What's it mean to be an included angle? What's it mean to be included? Okay, technically. Um, I mean, there, there's another way to think of it. If it's included, where's the angle in between? It's in between the sides. So it's included, it's in between. So like a part of, like you're between it all, you're in between it all. So same idea with the words. Okay, so notice here the angle is in between the sides that are proportional. Okay, so let's look at number one here. Explain how you know the triangles are similar and write a similarity statement. Now, a lot of you are going to look at number one, you're going to say, hey, Q and T are the same. And a lot of you are going to be like, Psh, R and V, not the same. However, can we find the third angles in this triangle? Let's find the third angle. For example, what's angle S here going to be? How would I find angle S? Adam is subtracting 180, right? Somebody do that for me real fast. 180 minus 92 minus 49. Oh, Katie says 39. Nice job. Oh, then U is 49. Are these two triangles similar? Are they similar? Yes, they are. Which tri triangle similarity statement would that be? AA, SSS, or SAS? That'd be AA. Because the angles are congruent, which means the two triangles are similar. Okay, two. Now, two it only gives me a couple sides, but I do know something else. What else do I know? Read. Those are vertical angles. We got vertical angles right here in the middle. So let's look at the sides here. 18 over 27. What's 18 over 27 simplify to? 9 over 3. 9, what? 2 thirds. Okay, what about 16 over 24? What's that simplified to? Well, that simplifies to two-thirds as well. Are they proportional? Are the angles the same? So that's yes, and what reason is it? Would it be? Side, angle, side. Nice job. Okay, good work. When it says verify, it means find the proportions and then state which one of those three triangle similarity statements would be used. Take a couple seconds, work this one on your own. Uh, Trent Bannister, number three. Uh, How'd you set up a proportion here? What'd you set up? Uh, so you said 12 over 15, what's that equal? Okay, and what was the other one you set up? And what's that equal? Okay, are they the same? Yes. So is it proportional? Yes. By which statement? Side, side, side. Side, side, side. Oh, nice job. Okay, next thing we're talking about here is you can use AA similarity, SSS similarity, and SAS similarity to solve problems. First, prove the triangles are similar, then they use the properties of similarity to find the missing measures. So, for example, here, does everybody see the two triangles in here? 
Okay, we have the small triangle right here, ADE, and then we have the big triangle right here. Now, before we get going, who remembers what DE would be called in this problem? Oh, Blake said it. What is it, Blake? Shh, Parker. No more. It's a mid segment. How do you know it's a mid segment? Because it's in the middle. If you look right here, what's AB? Six, right? So each side's three, so it's in the middle. Same thing over here. Two and two, they're both in the middle. Okay? Now, it says to set up a proportion here. Now, if you look at the proportion, it says three over six. Where do they get the six from? Oh, they add, add, them. Them. add them. Add them. Why do you oh, add them? Because oh, that's, that's the big triangle. The big triangle has to be the two added up. Okay, so for example here, we do three, which is the small one, over six equals 3.5 over, because that's the segment of DE right here. We're trying to find CB or BC over X. Okay, and then you set a proportion, use cross products and solve. All right, so again, make sure you recognize what are you trying to solve in order to set up the correct proportion. Again, make sure you're being consistent on it. So, number four here. Explain why the triangles are similar and then find each length. So, first off, let's look at um, these two triangles here. What do you know about JK and FH? They're parallel. So, if they're parallel, what type of angles are K and F? Who remembers theirs? Back from chapter one. They are the same, but why? Alternate interior angles. Remember talking about alternate interior angles? So, those angles are congruent. Well, what do I know about angles H and angle J? Alternate angles. What about angle G right here? So what triangle similarity statement would it be? Wouldn't this be AA? Don't I have all the angles? Oh, yeah. Angle, angle? Well, I, all you need is two. All you need is two because triangles and third angles don't have to be the same. I mean, AA is the same thing. So now I need to set proportion up. So proportion here, I'm going to state... 8 over 12 equals x over 11. And I'm going to use cross products to solve here. 8 times 11 is 88. x times 12 is 12x. 12 Divide both sides by 12. And you get x equals 7.3. Is it repeating? Yeah, repeating. Nice job. Okay, now 5. It wants me to find U.S. down here. U.S. is this whole segment down here. Now, first off, I need to state what triangle similarity statement says they're similar. If you look here, S is congruent to V. Do I know anything about T or W? No. What do you know about U, though? What's U going to be the same as? Isn't U equal to U? Oh, yeah. Is it basically the same angle for both triangles? Yeah. So remember we talked about that and they had a then they shared a line back in chapter four that lines were gonna be the same? Well if they share an angle, aren't the angles the same? Yeah. Yeah. So this these triangles are, are similar because of AA similarity. So now I need to set up a proportion. So what proportion would I set up here? Jake O'Connor, how would you set one up? So U.S. is X here. I'll help you out. U.S. US is X. Sew it up. Twenty-six over what? Twenty-six over X equals. Twenty-eight over forty-two. Nice job. Again, look at it. We did the small triangle over the big triangle. Small triangle over the big triangle. We were consistent how we set it up. Now we have it set up. We use cross products to solve. When I solve that, I end up with x equals what, Simeon? What do you x equal? Five? 39. x equals 39. Thank you. Now, again, would that make sense? Is it bigger than 26? Yeah, it's got to be bigger than 26, right? So that makes sense. Take a couple seconds to try these last two on your own. It says, substitute the side lengths into the ratios in exercise 6. 
If the ratios are equal, then the triangles are similar by the side, side, side. Last similar two, theorem. Okay. Try these last two on your own. All right, Trent, number six. GH over JK. What's GH over JK? Six over 12, what's that simplified to? One half. Uh, the second part, HI over KL. What's HI over KL, Luis? What's that simplified to? And GI over JL. Quinn, what's GI over JL? Yep. 12 over 24, and what's that simplified to? One half. So as you look, are all the proportions the same? Yeah, they're all one half. So that would be side, side, side similarity. Um, seven, it says congruent angles. Which ones are congruent, Caden? Yeah, which angles down to number seven are congruent? No, 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 no. Oh, what? Angle. Oh, Q and T. How do we know Q and T are congruent? Well, they are both right angles, right? I said that, yeah. Okay. Now I have PQ over ST. Anderson, what's PQ over ST? Uh, 8 over 10. Does that simplify too? Uh, 2 over 5. Or 4 over 5. My bad. Okay. Chris, what's QR over TU? 10 over 20. QR. Oh, QR over 20. Oh. Yeah, 10 over. Oh, 4 fifths, but. No, QR is 16, bud. Oh. Oh, I misread my hand already. 16 over 20, which is 4 fifths. I misread my hand already. Are the sides proportional? Yes. Are the angles congruent? Yes. Side, angle, side, similarity statement. Here's your assignment.